आज हमारे साथ हैं रेनाल्डो क्वाड्रो जो कि आप कहलाते हैं श्रीरंगपुरी दास इनकी खासियत ये है कि इन्होंने वाल्मीकि रामायण का स्पेनिश में अनुवाद किया है हम बात करते हैं रेनाल्डो क्वाड्रो यानी कि श्रीरंगपुरी दास जी से वेलकम टू वेल दुनिया I just want to know how you got in touch with uh, Ramayana. Oh, uh, in 1980, I started my studies in Vedic culture, and uh, my spiritual master, Sri Lakshmi Pramodhi Goswami Maharaj, was explaining me the value of the Vedic culture of ancient India, and this book, the Ramayana. Is the foundation of all civilizations, not only in India but all over the world. So, uh, in order to bring peace in the society, he told me to study and then to translate this book into Spanish. Spanish now is the second most spoken language in the world yes. after Chinese. Yes. So, how much time you took to? Understand the Ramayana and then to translate it. Study several years, probably 10 to 15 years. It took you 15 years to study. To study, well, not only Ramayana but also Shrimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, all the scriptures. But then I started translating the Ramayana 21 years ago, so it took me 21 years. 21 years. So, the kis saal ki tapasya lagi hai. इस रामायण को स्पेनिश में लोगों तक पहुंचाने के लिए सो हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट वॉज टू ट्रांसलेट दिस आई वुड एन से वॉज सो डिफिकल्ट बट आई वॉज वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज दिस इज भागाबाम टॉकिंग सो यू डोट हैव टू मोडिफाई हैव टू चेंज हैज टू बी बोनाफाइड सो मोस्टली इज इज केयरफुल वॉट यू नीड इन दिस केस बिकॉज इज सेक्रेड वर्ड्स So, how is this accept, accepted now in the Spanish community? Well, I am right now planning to mass print. This only is sample printing. Uh, so that's another reason I am now in India because I want to look for sponsorship to print the Ramayana and, ma and for mass distribution in all the Spanish-speaking countries. So, have you spoken to government of India to help you on this? I am trying to reach the government officials because I think, uh, as this conference was saying and Shiva Narendra Modi was saying, Bharat is meant to help the whole world. So I think that this should be an effort of the Indian government also to have all the Spanish-speaking countries learn what is Ramayana, what is Vedic culture, what is India. Has ever been Ramayana or? Other uh, script translated in Spanish. You know of that? Somebody has already tried. Yes, there has been Ramayana editions, but they were written in old Castilian language. That's not spoken today. It's very old language, and uh, today people doesn't understand that. So, it's the first edition in contemporary Castilian language. It's called the Spanish language, but also is put into con context. Not only the Ramayana text. Because this is the Ramayan, but we have created also uh, a glossary of terms that explains in detail what are the different names used, and also a very extensive appendix explaining what is the Vedic world, the fascinating world of the Vedas. Okay. So you can find here what is Sanskrit. What is the Vedas? What is the knowledge? What's the social organization? The philosophy behind? What reincarnation? What mantra? So all this is explained here, and also I am explaining because I'm anthropologist how this is vinculated with cultures all over the world. Okay, very interesting. Especially in South America, we have this Ramayan dance, and it's most popular in Bolivia. You see. Monkeys and, and bears are in this fight, and ten-headed demon Ravan, you know, is depicted like this in this dance. This is from Bolivia. This is the most popular dance in Bolivia. It's actually the Ramayan, but people don't know. So when they read this book, they will come to know that this is originally coming from the Vedic tradition. 
Likewise, there are many things that in the world are being influenced by Vedic culture. You know, old Peru, you know, Cusco was run by Kush, one of the sons of Loran, was run in that city in South America. And this same couple, Sitaram, are worshipped with other names in South America, like uh, Manco Capac, Mama Obvio. So just different names, Very but interesting. It, it's, it's the same. Also you can see these uh, Vedic ceremonies and the uh, South American ceremonies are similar, of course, with the passage of time they are forgetting. And also these huge figures, you know, in Peru, you can see this from an airplane. This is a Then this is the oldest temple found in the world. It's called Tiwanaku, 15,000 years ago. But this is a replica of Kailash Temple of India. Okay. And in this sacred lake, there is a sacred lake there, they found 1,000 Shiva Lingams. So it means that Vedic culture was all over the world, it was not only India, it was all over the world before, 1,000 years ago. ये श्रीरंगपुरी दास जी की जो मेहनत है किस वर्षों की तपस्या है इसमें ना केवल ये रामायण वाल्मीकि रामायण का अनुवाद है बल्कि इसमें इन्होंने ये बताने की कोशिश की है कि वैदिक संस्कृति की जड़ें कितनी गहरी हैं और दुनिया में कितनी दूर तक वैदिक संस्कृति की और रामायण की पहुंच है उन्होंने इसमें यह भी बताने की कोशिश की है कि किस तरीके से राम और सीता की भक्ति दुनिया के अन्य देशों में भी अलग अलग नामों और रूपों में की जाती है निश्चित ही ये भारतीय संस्कृति का वैदिक संस्कृति का एक ऐसा जीता जागता दस्तावेज है जिसे बड़ी मेहनत से तैयार किया गया है और हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि इसकी ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा प्रतियाँ छपकर ज़्यादा लोगों तक भारत की संस्कृति की महानता का संदेश पहुँचा सकें